Welcome to another episode of Talks for a Magical Monday, the weekly podcast of the Heralds of the Gospel. I'm your host, Brother Gustavo. For those who are not familiar with the Heralds, the Heralds of the Gospel are a community active in the Catholic Archdiocese of Toronto, as well as several other cities across Canada. Founded by Monsignor Jean Cladias, the Heralds comprise priests, religious, brothers and sisters, and lay people since their pontifical recognition in 2001 by Pope John Paul II. And for those who are familiar with the Heralds, this podcast features the talks following the Heralds weekly rosary at St. Patrick's Parish in Schomburg, Ontario, where the brothers share some consoling and encouraging thoughts precisely geared to those dreaded beginnings of a probably hard week called Mondays. If you want to know more about the origin of the podcast, please stop right here. Go back and listen to episode number one. So even if today it's not Monday, but you're still commuting or doing chores, take heart brighten your perspectives and enjoy today's talk recorded at the Heralds of the Gospel House in Schomburg. The topic, One life is all we have. How do we live it? Welcome then to Talks for a Magical Monday, the weekly podcast of the Heralds of the Gospel. Salve Maria, welcome back to another episode and uh, today we're going to go back to one of the phrases that mark the most, the influence, the, the most of a saint called St. John of Arc. Her influence is tremendous, her prophetic vocation, her um, amazing gifts and yet coming from such a humble uh, young maiden and um, her phrase is really beautiful because it helps us a lot to understand the real meaning of life. And she says, when life is all we have, she doesn't say we have to, it's one shot. One life is all we have. And we live it as we believe in living it. But to sacrifice what you are and to live without belief, that is a fate more terrible than dying. And today I would like to point out at another aspect, another temptation that comes, which is a temptation of mediocrity. Mm? Because the moment we decide to live without belief means that we are going to be living only for what we see, only for the passing, fleeting aspects of life where time passes by without any consequence, any apparent consequences. And that is to choose a life that can be compared to, and this is an example, Dr. Plinio, the inspirer of our founder, Monsignor jean Clay, used to say. And he used to say, imagine a toad. What characterizes toads the most? that they live with their belly constantly touching the ground. And animals always have symbolisms, right? And if we're going to find the symbolism of a toad, it symbolizes certain souls that prefer to live with a stomach on the ground, eh? that live a life that is not only mediocre, but also never goes beyond anything, doesn't reach any idealisms, doesn't reach any big goals, doesn't, be, doesn't reach anything that transcends from their own little person. And so the problem with a toad is that that person is never, ever, ever going to look at great horizons. It's just smashed down and doesn't leave. And by comparison, we could have another animal that is totally the opposite. Imagine what can be more opposite to a toad than an eagle. Eagles are fascinating 
the eyesight are 20 times more powerful than the human eye. With one difference though, that their brain is smaller, so you can imagine the powers of magnification that those eyes can have in such a smaller brain, right? They are able to see things from kilometers. But there is one more characteristic that makes us absolutely fascinating, and it's the fact that eagles are the only birds, and probably the only animals, that can look directly at the sun. And that has a particular symbolism, which is that eagles can look at the sun like saints, like prophets, like virtuous people are able to look directly to God. So eagles symbolize idealism. Eagles symbolize open, big, great horizons. Eagles, by the fact that they are able to fly, they symbolize great flights of the soul. And so what a contrast. You have the toads on one side, green, dirty, always in the mud, always in the jungle, whatever. And then you have eagles that go across the skies. Eagles that are able to see the sun, evil eagles to, who are able to dominate from those heights everything that happens in the sky and everything that happens down on earth. And here comes a beautiful, beautiful explanation and actually a phrase that Dr. Plinio used to, used to tell all of us. And he used to comment that one of the highest peaks of idealism in 1950s and so on were the French paratroopers. And they had this saying, it is better to be an eagle for a minute than a toad for a lifetime. And how does this connect to St. John of Arc? It connects very well, because he says, to live without belief, that is a fate more terrible than dying. So if we are going to choose to live like eagles, if we are going to choose to leave aside or leave behind our lives as toads, if we dislike that toad approach, toady approach to life, and if we really want to become eagles, once we realize that we don't have the strength to that, that's where the devotion to Our Lady flourishes. Because we, we can't do this, we don't have the strength, we don't have wings, we don't have eyes like an eagle, not the physical ones, but the wings in the soul, ours are short. Mm. The eyesight of our soul is short-sighted, is small, is blind. But if we count on our lady on our side, then we can go places. So it is better to be an eagle for a minute than a toad for a lifetime. Do we want to be eagles, really? Are we fascinating with eagles? Then let's ask Our Lady to transform our soul from one of those earthly souls into an eagle-like soul. Very good intention. And again, if we pray, if we ask Our Lady, she is going to do that for us. And how do we ask? Simple. Pick up that rosary but you have to pick it up every single day. Several times a day is possible, but to start at least one rosary a day with constancy, in permanently insisting in what we need and in what we ask from the Mother of God. So, I hope this helps us. And again, this program is to is geared to focus in those weak points that we may have so that we realize better how much we need Our Lady. Salve Maria! Hope to see you soon. And this is all for today's episode recorded live at the Heralds of the Gospel House in Schomburg, Ontario. You can reach us anytime at one of the Heralds websites, such as heralds.ca, forward slash podcast, new insights multimedia, forward slash podcast, or you can also subscribe on iTunes or anywhere you normally listen to your favorite podcast. And as per now, pray hard, work hard, keep growing in devotion to the Eucharist and our Blessed Mother, evangelize by word and example, and be 
Every Day More and More, a real herald of the gospel. <laughs>